Back in September of 2017, when I was still working pretty diligently on my 100 Lakes on Vancouver Island blog, I bought a new camera. This was my first mirrorless camera. It was the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. Absolutely loved this little camera. And uh, with it, I started taking photos using vintage lenses. And one of the first subjects that really caught my eye were the white fawn lilies at Piper's Lagoon. And you can see from this Flickr album of mine that I have over a hundred photos of fawn lilies now uh, published to Flickr. And the third one that I published is this one right here, Lilies from a Distance. And this has remained one of my favorite and uh, inspiring images of fawn lilies. And you can see that it was taken with the Arrestan 50 millimeter 1.8. And what I love about this image is that the central lily here is in focus, whereas the lilies that surround it are out of focus and they're producing these beautiful swirly patterns, a kind of a, kind of a dreamy look. But when you zoom in on it, you get a lot of detail on this central lily. And I really like this image. And today, when I head out into the field, I'm gonna be using this image as an inspiration for today's photography. as usual uh, with the seagulls and herons on the water's edge and photographers too <laughs> and uh, it's not a spectacular sunrise yet this morning but uh, it's looking pretty nice setting up some, some long exposures here down by the water um, and uh, how are we doing oh yeah that's pretty nice so uh, off to a good start the um, the actual goal this morning is to be um, in the forest uh, with the fawn lilies we have a window of sunlight uh, sun um, through the morning and then rain later in the morning so uh, I have a, a window here of a couple of hours and uh, the lilies are really supposed to be or not supposed to be but I'm, I'm predicting that they're at their peak where they're starting to really curl a lot and I've got the one photo uh, that I got a couple of years ago that I absolutely love uh, and I've been trying to replicate it for a couple of weeks now so uh, it's a bit of a quest today and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens uh, starting off quietly with this uh, this unspectacular light but it's still lovely to be here so we'll see what we get with some of these long explosions <laughs> okay so well the camera well, the wind just moved my camera over when I was trying to record here but the sun has just broken through um, just before the sun came up there was some really beautiful uh, mist uh, on the far shore there um, clouds lighting up a bit so uh, I think I'm pretty sure I got a good shot there and now it's just spectacular I'll turn the camera around here I don't know if uh, you'll be able to see it or not, but uh, it's a really beautiful morning. As I mentioned earlier, the use of vintage lenses remains a passion of mine. 
in no small part because of how they render lilies and other botanical wonders. In this series of images taken over a four year period or so, you can see my attempt to capture the lilies at their different stages of emerging. The lilies are the first flowers to emerge sometime in late February or early March, as these erect beacons of hope for the spring to come. A week or two after emerging, they reach their maximum height and the flower heads, still wrapped tightly, fall over and point to the ground. Then begins one of the most enchanting stages of the opening, when the petals detach from each other and begin to extend. This stage always reminds me of the skirts worn by fairies in storybooks. Once open, the lily petals begin to extend and curl back on themselves producing these lovely shapes that dance in the wind. Just look at all the subtle colors of these fawn lilies. I never grow tired of looking at them and seeing how each lily is so lily-like and yet also an individual. I just find them all so beautiful. So we end up back here with our favorite, my favorite anyways, the one that inspired this photo shoot. Let's see if I can come somewhere close to it in my image creation today. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, beautiful morning. I uh, came uh, over the little ridge here, the little hill here, and uh, just the lilies really are at their peak. They're they're kind of everywhere here. Um, I love how the sun is is uh, coming in through the, the leaves in the background there, and uh, so you know it's a pretty pretty special opportunity to catch some of these lilies just as the sun uh, starts to to hit their petals. So I'm going to set up my. Um, I think I'm going to start with the Sam Yang 85 millimeter. I'm going to have in my pocket the uh, Revenon and the uh, and actually the um, the Pentax uh, 15 millimeter. Uh, I think that actually might be my most successful lens today. So actually, I might start with that one because uh, I've been using the uh, Pentax uh, 50 millimeter over the years, and I really like it. Uh, so uh, I think it's a 1.8. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to start with that one and then uh, see how that is. And if, if I'm not getting the, the effect that I want, I'll switch over to the Sam Yang. So yeah, I'm excited to get that. Look at this. Look at the light. It's just just touching in on uh, on these lilies now. So I think it's going to be pretty fantastic. Over the last few years, I've been exploring different therapies and practices to cope with my sensitivity, stress, uh, my beliefs and thoughts, and uh, the patterns that I've formed in my thinking over the years um, that have become impediments to my growth at this stage of my life. Meditation's been particularly helpful. I practice the welcoming prayer and that form of meditation where you simply focus on your breath or you know a bodily sensation and you watch the mind wander and you come back to um, whatever it is you were focusing on. I've been using a candle uh, lately too. But here in the fawn lily patch, the mind is fully focused. So many aspects of photography are at play. The focus, the aperture, composition, depth of field. And I think most importantly that intuitive connection to your inner sense of what is beautiful and pleasing. It's an integration of mind and body and soul, I guess. That part of us that seeks out beauty. It's interesting, the, uh, the posture that one adopts when taking photos of these Vaughn lilies, very similar to to prayer or meditation and uh, the focus of attention is these beautiful little flowers that seem to have so much to offer 
um, the beauty that's in these curling petals is pretty magnificent. So I just can't think of a better thing to do with my morning than to wander along this rocky hillside looking for those particular combination of flowers that's going to produce that beautiful image that I had in the back of my mind. Here you see a few images of uh, some of the ones that I saw this morning. These are solitary uh, flowers, but um, I also was looking to f combine a f blurred foreground or a, bur a blurred background. Uh, and the combination of these uh, flowers didn't always line up. So, you know, it's, it's part of the quest is to, is to try these things and, and uh, see what will line up. This particular image here was getting close. Um, and then I put on an extension tube and started to get in really close with, with these ones. And there was something quite magical about this, the way the sun was hitting the petals and, uh, and the, the, the shapes of the petals themselves. Um, I finally, uh, after some time, settled on this one particular flower and pl played around with it a little bit. And uh, in the end, this was my favorite shot. I found this to be truly lovely. vest back on. I was warm climbing around up here but uh, now I'm cooling off again. It's been a good day though. Uh, I've gone through a lot of cards so I've taken a lot of shots of lilies. So we shall see how they turn out. I think I might have got some. It's funny it, it is it's a bit like a bit like a quest for the Holy Grail. There's this sense of, of kind of uh, almost, almost, almost. Uh, and maybe that's part of what, what keeps us going, eh? Is the, is the almost there. But it's been a good day for me. I got the wildlife lens here. If there's any wildlife up on the hill, I've heard some singing, some beautiful singing from some birds from... Oh, where's my mic? So I'm not sure, uh, not sure what those little birds are. Something with a lovely song. So I'm going to head up the hill, uh, see what I can find. Still have my, my uh, Takamar on, so yeah, keep going. I came over the top here and did get a few uh, wildlife shots, uh, some flickers, some um, juncos, and a um, couple of other little birds, maybe a kinglet. I don't think I got a good one because I wasn't close enough. Uh, but anyways, it was fun to just kind of cruise along the top here in the beautiful sunshine. But it, uh, the clouds are, are uh, not rolling in, I guess, yet. but. Uh, I know they are going to be in a couple of hours, so I'm going to head home. It's been a fantastic morning. Um, I hope you've enjoyed spending some time here with me. Uh, the beauty here is, is truly amazing, and uh, so I'm never tired of coming to this beautiful place. Anyways, I hope you're having a good day. Bye for now.